kid. Where are you heading? Uh, I'm visiting my parents on the outskirts of town. Pop him. I can get you there. Thank you. Oh, my name's Sam. Thanks for picking me up again. Oh, no problem, mate. My name's Clarissa. Nice to meet you, Clarissa. I'm guessing you're from England? Yeah, yeah. A little town called Leicester. Oh, really? Uh, that's where my mom's from. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coincidence, don't you think? Well, you know, small world. I guess. So, Sam, why are you walking? Well, this morning, I left my laptop in a class, so I went back to get it. I parked my car on the sidewalk, and I got caught on talking to one of my professors. And when I came back outside, they were towing my fucking car down the street. Seriously? I couldn't believe it. Unbelievable. So you're a student there, and they couldn't even give you a break? That's what I was thinking. They called some fucking greaseball to come and hook up my hoop to I am up to my neck in student debt. I can barely afford textbooks, let alone pay to get my car off a lot. That's why I'm here, hitchhiking to mommy and daddy's house to beg for more money. All because of a bunch of fucking assholes. So you're gonna ask them to cover the tow fees? Uh, that's the plan. We'll see how that goes when we get there. They're already planning to pay for my ocean study trip next semester. How about you come to my house, shovel my driveway, I pay the tow fee, mom and dad don't have to know a thing about it. Is this your way of doing right by God or something? What? You got this plastic Jesus bobblehead statue over here. Oh, that thing? That's so the cops let me off easier. No, I've not been to church for years. Not since I found out church was run by demon lovers and reptiles. Oh, okay then. Uh, sorry. Sure you're not one of those reptiles. <laughs> if I were cold-blooded, I would have died out here long ago. The backside of the moon. Now that's cold, and that's where they're stationed. I read that on a Google document. It's going around in one of my Facebook groups. So, Sam, whereabouts do your parents live? Oh, uh, Ledgewood Drive. Shit. I'm gonna have to pull in here and get gas. Cards acting up. I'm gonna go try it inside. I'll be right back. What's your name, kid? My name's Sam. You? My name's Dale. You smoke weed, Dale? <laughs> you speak my language, kid. You drink? Sometimes. You got anything? Yeah, why don't you uh, reach all back there and pick yourself up a can of beer and some tomato juice. Make yourself something nice. Hey, there's no, there's no beer back here. Well, just down, drink the tomato juice, I guess. I don't know.
<coughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why don't you pack that piece and tell me your story, kid? Dropped out of high school at 16. Been on my own ever since. Right now I'm making this uh, novel about hitchhiking. I figured it'd be a you know, good idea to talk about the American dream, you know, our culture. Well, Jesus Christ, kid. Are we going to smoke something or what? Yeah, pack that piece of yours and I'll tell you a story. All right. All right, so a number of years ago, my... Uh, my third cousin's ex-wife, she ran away from home back when we were teenagers, and she met this stranger who, uh, he claimed he could suck a tortoise fork through a snow hole faster than an ostrich could cook a piece of stick in the crack, and, you know, she watched him do it, too. I think I lost my piece, man. Well, oh, shit, man, I've been sitting here rambling this whole time, we ain't got no bowl? It's not a bowl, it's a chilm. I think I dropped it somewhere. What's a chilm? It's like a bowl, but, you know, more tubular. And, uh, how tubular are we talking here? I don't fucking know, like a cigarette or something? Yeah, that's pretty dang too weird. Anyway, I, uh, I lost it, so sorry to disappoint. So anyway, about my novel. Right, the uh, hitchhiking, yeah, go on. Philosophically, right? I was just thinking, you know, society itself is, is degenerating rapidly, and I figured there needs to be this chaotic voice that, you know, represents the, the downfall of society, you know. Oh. Jesus Christ, kid. I'm about to join my boy Bobby's broke burning club. I'm going to bring yours in as first donation. I think it's that bad. A book burning club? You know someone who has a book burning club? Listen, kid, if I could read, I would become a critic just so I could write a review about your book warning everyone not to waste their time. But, uh, no, I don't know anyone who runs a book burning club. I was just pulling your leg back there. Hey, whoa, whoa, man. I, I didn't mean it like that. No, oh, you're right. It was stupid anyway. Say, so, why don't we why don't we uh, stop by my sketchy friend Tommy's house and uh, we can uh, pick up some coke? You say coke? Listen, Bucko, uh, Tommy's kind of a wild card, so I'm just gonna go in there, I'm gonna buy some coke, I'm gonna ask for one's pieces, I'll come out and we'll keep cruising. Sounds good. Alright, I'll give you like 120 bucks. Cool. 120 bucks for why? Coke ain't cheap. Uh, Alright, do, uh, do you have change for 200? No. Sam. Oh, hey, Monty. What are you doing? Uh, you know, I was just going for a bit of uh, You know, my brother and I, we heard some gunshots a few minutes ago. Bad, man. Want to ride? Yeah, I don't really feel like getting shot today. 
So, where were you just jogging to, pal? I was on my way to work. Oh, you finally got a job! Yeah, I'm uh, working as an accountant's assistant. Huh. Hey, bro. Didn't Mom say she and Dad saw Sam working at Chipotle? So you're working two jobs? Uh, no, it's just the one. I am, I am applying to be an accountant's assistant, though. Oh, cool. Muppets Haunted Mansion. Holy shit, talk about it, I turned a four, my guy. It's the best Muppets thing since Most Wanted. Hands down. I believe it. You know who you should show it to? Who? Ramona. Yeah, I think she'd like that. How old is your little princess, anyway? She'll be turning six in about two weeks. And you haven't shown her Muppets Haunted Mansion? Hell, not even Muppet Babies, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. The Book of Pooh, Doc McStuffins. Uh, Monty, I haven't seen her in a while. Uh, I'm fighting with the courts right now to see if I can get some partial custody, but I'm just trying to show them that I can be responsible. That'd be great. Hey, bro, mind pulling over? I've got to take a piss. Nice piss, bro. Are you still in your change, man? No. Bro, I could see it. We need those for laundry. Get the fuck out of our car. Thank you.